What if I told you that less than 100 years ago, people were drinking radioactive water for their health, and that one man's jaw literally melted off because of it? This isn't science fiction. This is the true story of Eben Byers. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell right now. You won't want to miss our weekly dives into history's most shocking and unbelievable true stories. Eben Byers was living the American dream. Rich, handsome, and athletic had it all. But in 1927, everything changed. One decision would lead to his horrifying death just five years later, with his body so radioactive. It had to be buried in a lead-lined coffin. This is the story of how a miracle cure became a death sentence, and how one man's tragedy changed medical history forever. Act 1, The Discovery of Radium in 1898, Marie Curie and her husband Pierre made a groundbreaking discovery. In their Paris lab, they isolated two new elements, polonium and radium from uranium ore. Marie Curie, a visionary scientist, soon realized that radium emitted an incredible glow and could kill cancer cells. This set off a worldwide fascination with the powers of radioactivity. What many didn't know was how dangerous it could be. Marie Curie's work earned her not one, but two Nobel Prizes, one in physics and another in chemistry. Her contributions laid the foundation for the use of radiation in cancer treatment, but it also sparked a dangerous trend. By the 1920s, radium wasn't just a scientific curiosity. It was marketed as a miracle cure for everything from arthritis to impotence. And that's where Eben Byers enters our story. Act Two, The Radium Craze and Eben Byers. Eben Byers was a man of wealth, privilege, and athleticism. As the son of a steel magnate, Byers lived a life many dreamed of. But in 1927, his life took a drastic turn. While traveling on a train, Byers suffered an injury that left him in chronic pain. Desperate for relief, he visited a doctor named William Bailey, who offered a curious new treatment, a radium-infused tonic known as Radithur. Radithur was a radioactive water, sold as a health elixir. Like many during that time, Byers believed in its powers. And so, he began drinking the tonic two bottles a day. Then three totally unaware of the slow poison building up inside him. Act three, the deadly effects. For nearly three years, Byers consumed over 1,400 bottles of Radithur. At first, it seemed to relieve his pain, but soon, the real effects of radium began to show. His teeth started falling out, his jawbone deteriorated, and his body was riddled with pain. By the time Byers realized what was happening, it was too late. Byers' body became a living reactor, emitting dangerous levels of radiation. His condition worsened so much that his jaw literally fell apart. By 1932, 
just five years after his injury. Eben Byers dyed his body so radioactive that it had to be buried in a lead-lined coffin. Act 4, The Consequences, and the end of Radithur. Byers' tragic death wasn't in vain. It caught the attention of both the public and the U.S. government, leading to stricter regulations on dangerous medical products. The death of Eben Byers became a turning point, signaling the end of the radium craze and sparking new safety measures in the medical field. Radithur and many other radium-based products were pulled from the market, but the damage was already done. The people who drank radium-infused water, used radium-laced cosmetics, or worked with radium paints suffered immensely. Act 5, The Legacy of Radium and the Cost of Science. Despite the tragic outcomes, Radium's discovery did pave the way for modern radiation. Treatments in cancer care. Today, we understand the dangers of radiation, but we also use it to save lives. Ironically, the same substance that took Eben Byer's life has also helped millions through controlled use in medicine. Marie Curie herself would become a victim of the very element. She discovered dying of radiation-related illnesses after years of exposure. Yet her contributions to science endure, as do the lessons we learned from the reckless use of radium. The story of Eben Byers is a cautionary tale about the dangers of untested medical treatments and the cost of scientific progress. As we push the boundaries of knowledge, it's important to remember the lives lost along the way. Byers' tragic end helped pave the way for the safety regulations we rely on today. His story reminds us of the fine line between hope and harm. Thank you for watching. If you found this story fascinating, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another deep dive into history's most shocking moments. Until next time, Stay curious and stay safe.